this 8 series is pretty high in the BMW lineup, so it's going to be more on the luxurious side of things. Starting with the door panel, you'll find everything covered in leather. Leather on the top, white leather on the armrest, and all throughout the bottom part. You've got a good amount of storage in the door pocket and the bottle holder, and this will open your trunk. You've got MA50i on your door sills, and as far as your seats go, these will be made of merino leather, and you'll have 16-way power adjusting. These seats are super comfortable, and you even get your own manual thigh extension. Now we can talk about everything else that there is to talk about in this MA50i Grand Coupe. The steering wheel will be made of leather completely with an M logo and heating. Even the airbag cover is made of leather. This 2021 model will also have a fully digital gauge cluster that has customization. You can also have a map in the center right there. This technology in a 2021 BMW is actually not too bad, and it's the same that you get in a 2025 MA50i. Of course, there is a head-up display, and taking a look at materials, everything on the upper dash will be made of leather. You get some gloss black around here. Also, there is some piano black that you can customize on the website. The shifter and the iDrive controller will be made of crystal. Also, the stop start button is made of crystal. That is a really bougie touch, and I would definitely recommend getting that on the options list. Now let's take a look at storage and see how this MA50i Grand Coupe does compared to the competition. Opening up the console, you'll find a good amount of space. It is more than the Audi S7, and it is pretty close with the Mercedes AMG GT53. There are two cup holders and a wireless phone charging pad behind them. And that is basically it besides for the pretty large door pockets on both sides. Now let's take a look at climate controls because this is an area where BMW is moving towards digital climate controls and some people don't like that. So even the 2025 MA50i Grand Coupe will have the physical climate controls and all of your radio buttons. You will have controls for your heated and ventilated seats. And the ventilated seats are actually quite loud. You can control the fan speed right here on both sides. Also, the temperature adjustments are available on both sides. You've got the defrosters. You can also turn on auto on both sides. So basically, this is actually a really nice thing about this MA50i, one of the last BMWs to actually have physical controls, which I know some of you guys are looking for that. Now let's take a look at the infotainment system. This is the iDrive 7, and I'm sorry if it's flickering on camera, that's just what happens sometimes, but overall this is really responsive, and I have no complaints with this system. Maybe it could be a little bit bigger, but that's what you get in the other BMWs. This is actually 12.3 inches with wireless Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. Of course, you also get navigation, you can go right there, and then you can see that it is actually pretty responsive. If you don't want to touch the screen and get it dirty, there is a controller down here, which is actually quite nice. So it's definitely nice for people that won't want to get the screen dirty. When you put the car in reverse, it'll be greeted with a very nice high resolution, 360 degree backup camera. If you pull out this menu, there is a 3D view. You can actually not spin around the car like you can in some Audi products. So you could use gestures or you could go to the pre-programmed points. I'm not very good at using the gestures, so we're just going to avoid that for now. Of course, you're gonna push the P for park. There is actually an M logo right next to the gears right there. All of your drive modes are down here as well as your electronic parking brake. Up top, you'll find a very large sunroof that is split into two parts. Let's take a look at the passenger side. The seats will be made of the same full merino weather and they are very comfortable with 16 ways of power adjusting. I don't think I mentioned this, but the access height is really bad and you really have to duck your head in to get inside. On the door panel, you'll find a lot of weather, brushed aluminum, and a Harman Kardon sound system. You also get heated and ventilated seats, which I mentioned are quite loud, and in the glove box, you'll find a good amount of space and some felt lining. Here you can see the soft close in action. Now let's move on to the back seats because this is the whole point of buying a Grand Coupe in the first place. 
Starting with the door panel, this will be basically the same as the front with a lot of weather and a very large door pocket down below. It is very interesting that there is no bottle holder included because I see that in a lot of cars. The switches will include switches for your power sunshades, both sides, and you'll find a back window shade, which is very bougie. These windows are frameless and they're pretty thick, and they actually don't rattle very much considering that a lot of cars with frameless windows rattle. The seats will be very comfortable and you can see that they actually kind of have their own bucket design and they will be heated. Getting inside, there is a good amount of legroom, nothing too exceptional here, but the headroom is not amazing. I'm barely clearing the roof at 5'9", and people that are taller than me would not be very comfortable back here. There is a lot of gloss black in the center area, and you get vents, two USB-C ports, four zone climate control, and controls for your heated seats. Interestingly, there are no ventilated seats on any 8 series. Pull down the center console, and you'll find two cup holders and a storage area. The armrest feels pretty high quality, and these cup holders actually have a kind of strange design. Now, as you can see, there is a middle seat belt, so somebody could actually sit back here, so that makes me question the design of the center area. Now let's check out the cargo area and see how much space is in the back of this MA50i Grand Coupe. Interestingly, it is not a hatchback like the Audi S7, but it still has a hands-free power tailgate. Behind the second row, which can be folded down, there are 16 cubic feet, which is pretty good for this size of vehicle. Also, I have no idea why these ivory white floor mats are in the back of this MA50i.